it's Marissa and I wanted to share with you some projects that are Amy inspired. You guys know Amy as Tutu Amy. Love her videos. Love Amy. She's super sweet. So the past couple weeks I've been working on some things and they, like I said, they were inspired by Amy. So um, I've been pretty busy. I made all these baggies, not all these baggies, but this baggie of hearts and I followed Amy's tutorial so I just wanted to share with you all these hearts that I made and I don't know I that I think the fun thing about crocheting is you can do it anywhere I did some of these at work when I was slow I did some of them on the couch while watching TV with my family and I did some at lunch while sitting in my car under their shade feeling the nice breeze so these are all the hearts that I did I don't know if I showed you guys some of these but I used different yarns and a lot of them are from Daiso so there's the fluffy hearts and I'm not gonna get into each and every one because that would just take too long so these are all of the hearts that I did and um, thank you, Amy, for doing such a wonderful tutorial. And I am officially, I think, a hooker. So, and if you guys don't know what, a, what I'm referring to, it's because when you crochet, you use hooks. See? You use hooks. So, I am a hooker. <laughs> so, that's the hearts that I did. And then I also did, using the same yarn, I did all these butterflies. And all these butterflies, I learned how to make watching Amy's tutorial as well. So, like I said, they're using the, um, I used the same yarn. So, this yarn is from Daiso. I think this is the only one that I got from Michaels. So, these are the butterflies. Okay, so those are it. And then um, these next things that I'm going to share with you is not Amy inspired. I actually saw these on Bona's Instagram. Her mom had made her some bows. But then I also seen it on Ashley, who is Chronic Scrapper. So, of course, I had to make them too. So, using the same yarn, of course, I made all these cute little bows and I love the colors I got some yellow yarn from um, oops from Daiso and this is the there's two different um, types of bows there's the one with the round edges I think that's the one and then there's one that has more of a square can you tell the difference it has more of a square edge so I made those made all of those and these were made throughout the course of the last I want to say month and I don't I forgot the website or not the website but the YouTube channel where um, Ashley found the, um, the the tutorial on these and I think personally I think these are a good um, way to start crocheting is doing the the bows I think the bows are easier than the butterfly and the hearts for me personally but if you guys are new try these but I don't I have to try to find the the YouTube channel for this so this um, is the bows and then I also got inspired because Amy made these really cute tags and then she cro she used paper and she um, poked holes all the way around and then crocheted around them and she made me a few of them um, and this has scallop edge to it so she made me a few different ones she made me some blank ones and things like that so I was inspired to make one when I saw um, by the way they sell these now but not the hearts they sell the circle ones at Michaels so I was inspired by Amy to make these and I saw let me see if I can find it um, 
at Michael's in their new dollar fifty spot, they have um, these chipboard albums. And so when I saw this, the edges, I was like, oh my god, I can try to make these. So I made a few of them, and I wanted to share with you. Um, and the paper line that I used is the Preppy Princess Stack by DCWV. And I originally saw this on Laura's video a while back. Um, and I got this like last year sometime. So the paper that I used was this one, the Preppy Princess Stack. And the first one I did, like I said, I used the Michaels Chipboard Album. This is the first one that I made. It was kind of weird um, crocheting around it because it's big and the holes are so far apart as to this one, they're so close together. So I did this, this is the first one I did. I added the Michaels bow, the new one that they have. I stamped this image, it says be yourself, nobody does it better. And then I just crocheted all around it and that is the back side. So that's the first one that I did. And then the second one that I did is this one. And this one, um, I did the same thing. I crocheted around using the same paper. I put this stamp. It says, it's good to be queen. And I put a, um, oh, why can't I think of the word for this? But you guys know what I'm talking about. I put the, the bling crown there. And then I just put a dangly um, crystal at the bottom. So I thought that was a cute touch to it. So I did that one, and the last one I did is, of course, again, using the same paper line. And I put Life's Beautiful, and I just tied a little bow, and then all of them I have the string hanging, so when I do give it away, you can hang it. So, there's that one, and this is the, the yarn that I also used to make, to crochet, so... It's from Daiso and it has like a little um, glitter to it. And then this is the background for that one. So I thought these were super cute. And the back paper for this looks like that. So you guys try to make these. These are super fun. Um, they're so easy to make. It's kind of a pain in the butt to try to um, crochet around it though. But I had a lot of fun making these. So I'm going to try to use the... The other, the other chipboard that I just showed you, the round one with the scallop edges, I'm going to try that one eventually. But this is what I worked on. Um, I did one last night, and then I worked on these today. So I hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.